welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly TBR. It's Saturday, so it's time. Um, I have tried doing this video too many times today, um, but it, it's always way too long, I feel. Like 20 minutes is way too long to talk about the books that I want to read. I just keep rambling on about other stuff. Um, so yeah, I picked four books that I want to read this week, plus um, one I'm actually currently reading, so that's a total of five. Maybe six, because you'll see in a minute. Um, but Monday and Wednesday I'm going to be very busy, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to read um, all the books I really want to. Just because Monday and Wednesday I'm going to be very busy because it's my birthday. Um, it's my birthday on Wednesday, but I'm celebrating my family on Monday, and I'm celebrating my friends on Wednesday. So, I don't know when I will really have so much time to read. I'm going to read as much as I can every day, every other day than that. But, yeah. Also, I am obsessed with Outlander. So, I'm binge watching this like crazy. And then, I would love to, wa to read some of it. But I own it on my Kindle. I'm not going to read this. I really want the, um the floppy paperback, not the mass market, I want the actual paperback, um, because I don't like mass market, you guys know, I'm not a fan of mass market really, I mean, I'm fine with it, you know, if that's like the only version I can get, but like big books like this, which is like 600, it's just 600 pages in this format is too long in a mass market, you know? Uh, it's too thick, too big, I, I can't. So I really want the floppy paperback edition, but I also own it on my Kindle, so I will probably be flipping on my, you know, flipping through it on my phone. We shall see. I really love Outlander. I'm obsessed. I love Jamie so much. <sighs> Just look at him. He's so hot. Oh my god, I'm in love with him to, the, to death. I, I just love him to death. This series is really good. I'm just about done with season one, and I will be continuing on to season two right after because I own, I have Comcast, so I have On Demand, so and we have these stars and HBO um, uh, subscription. So yeah, I will be binge watching this more, um, and then possibly reading a little bit of it. I don't know. I would really like not to do that because then I won't be able to get through all the books that I would really, really like to get through. Uh, I, you know, every week I pick books that I really want to read, and that is still the same here. These are just books that <sighs> might be put aside because of Outlander. I don't know. I, I still pick books that I really want to read. I really want to read Outlander, um, but I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I just keep getting this itch. I'm not sure uh, what's going to happen, um, but yeah, it's just, it's a very real possibility that I might end up having to pick up Outlander, even if I just read a little bit of it, I'm okay with that, it might help with my Outlander fix, I don't know, but yeah, now on to the other books that I really want to read. I'm trying, I don't, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, but I'm trying not to make this a 20 minute video like it is every time I do this video, so... And I also have to leave in 20 minutes. So yeah. Um, okay, so the first book that I'm going to show you is one I'm actually currently reading. I'm still reading for, still, still reading it from last week. Um, I have lost, a, I'm like really parched, I guess. Um, like my throat is really dry. And it's hard for me to talk because I've been, I've been doing this for the last like hour and a half. Um... So yeah, I'm still reading this book from last week. I am enjoying it, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. Denard, I, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, I'm sorry if I butchered her last name. Um, but Sarah J. Mass blurbed it, and uh, Cindy Williams Chima blurbed it. I've read books from both those auth both those authors and really enjoyed them. Um, so yeah, Truth Witch by Susan Denard. I'm really liking it. Um, I am a little more than halfway. I'm on like page 220, so we'll see. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to finish this like tonight or tomorrow morning at the latest, but I need to finish this soon. Um, then I would really like to pick up My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. I have read 
books actually from all of these authors. I read Unearthly by Cynthia Hand, never continued. I read Everneath by Brody Ashton, never continued. And I read um, Incarnate by Joni Meadows, and guess what? Never continued. Um, I really liked all three of the books that I read. I just, you know me in series, guys. I'm just now getting my act together and marathoning the series like I should. Um, but with Brody Ashton's Everneath, I liked it. Um, but I just, I felt like, I guess, it, I wasn't feeling it as much as I wanted to because it was like a Hades and Persephone, Hades and Persephone retelling. So even though I enjoyed it, I wasn't in the mood for it as much as I like to continue. So I ended up getting rid of them because I didn't feel like I was ever going to continue on because I could never shake the, you know, um, the mood I was in. Now I want to read it. Now I want to finally just get the series again and marathon them. So I'm going to do that. Just, I don't have the money right now, but once I do, who knows, maybe for my birthday I'll get them. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I do want to read this. This is a uh, Tudor England historical fiction romance novel. Um, this is the uh, not-so-true story of uh, Lady Jane Grey. Um, and I love it because it says the comical, fantastical, romantical, entirely, but not really, true story of Lady Jane Grey. I love that so much. It's my favorite, um, um, sentence on the back. Um, Lady Jane, or Jane Grey was Queen of England for like nine days before she got her head cut off. That's the, uh, history. That's her history. So I would really like to see what they do with her, like her story before she you know, became queen, and then after she became queen, and see how that goes. Uh, this also has fantasy elements with uh, beings called Ethion. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and um, they are like shapeshifters. They, uh, there's many different kinds of Ethion. Uh, Henry VIII was a lion, um, and then the love interest, G, his actual name is Gifford, which is just awful, I'm sorry, but um, uh, he wants to be called G. He is a horse shapeshifter, a horse Ethian, so yeah, um, we shall see how this goes, but it just sounds amazing, and I love Tudor England, it's like my favorite historical era, and it really is my favorite historical era. Um, so yeah, I just can't wait to see how this all goes, and yeah. Alright, so after that I would love to pick up The Orphan Queen by Jodie Meadows. Um, are you sensing a theme here? Uh, this was blurred by CJ Redwine and Daniel Page. I've read Defiance by CJ Redwine, but have never continued on with that series. I do own it, but I've never continued on. Um, yeah. I'm really trying to get my act together. And then Dorothy Must Die, or Daniel Page who wrote the Dorothy Must Die uh, trilogy. I used to own Dorothy Must Die, but I I never, I didn't like the prequel. I just didn't. I got the prequel on my phone and then I just really didn't like it. So I got rid of Dorothy Must Die. Now I'm kicking myself for that because I want to go out and get the whole trilogy. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I know I know nothing about this except for the fact that it's called Dor or the Orphan Queen. I almost called this Dorothy Must Die. Oh my god. Um, the Orphan Queen. And I have a feeling there's some kind of royalty aspect going on, I, I think. But it's a duology. I own both the books. I would really love to pick these up. And I really love the covers. The covers are just so pretty. And then I want to pick up Unearthly by Cynthia Hand and finally get back to get back into the series. I, uh, I read Unearthly a really long time ago. Really enjoyed it though. Never uh, moved on. I know this has to do with angels and a love triangle. I really want to know who she ends up with because I remember there was one I really wanted her with and now I don't know. I don't know who that is. Um, but yeah, I love the cover. 
the covers of the series is just so pretty. So pretty. Um, so we shall see how this goes. But yeah. Uh-huh. Cynthia Hand. Jenny Meadows. If only I had a book by Brody Ashton, I would have picked that one too. But I don't. Um, also, I forgot to mention this with Truth Witch. Um, okay. Is it just me and because I've been watching Outlander or... Does everybody feel like this has, like, when they picture their voices or, like, when they read this in their head and, uh, you know, picture their voices, does everybody else have a Scottish accent going on? I feel like Isult? Scottish, maybe? <laughs> this is so bad. Um, but yeah, I just... Is it just me? It probably is just me. But... I, I am enjoying this book. I feel like I just have like this Scottish accent whenever I read it. Um, okay, so the last book that I chose is part of a big series that I don't own the whole series. I Every time I feel like I need to get more books in that series, I own quite a few of them. I've read the first seven books in the series. I love this series so much, guys. There's like 45 plus books. And I own, like, eleven or twelve, um, and there's novellas too. So I don't own that many books in the series, but I do feel like I can't get any more until I read the ones that I have, or at least, you know, read, um, the ones that I can read that in, you know, like, in chronological order. I did get, like, the new one uh, that just came out, like, the new set of novellas that just came out. Um, I don't know if I have all of them in order. I just started grabbing. I know I own pretty much quite a few of them in order, and I've read the first seven. So I want to read the rest of them until I go out and get the rest, you know, more. Um, but I want to read one a week, and I feel like I can do that. It's not a hard series to read. I really enjoy the series. Um thing is though when I pick up a book in a series I end up reading that and then reading the next one and then reading the next one and the next one and the next one and then I set this and then I'm done and I you know I don't read any more in the series and then I wait a whole year and then I finally go back and I read read I reread all of them it's not good so I want to read one a week I feel like I can do that they're not that hard to read. I I feel like I can read maybe maybe one in a day, a day and a half. I feel like I can do. Hoping I can get through this as well with all the other books I have planned. But this one I just really want to read. I keep looking at the series and thinking, why haven't I picked up a book yet? I really should. I really want to continue on. And that is The In Death series by J.D. Robb. I'm continuing on with Conspiracy and Death, which is the eighth book in the series. Um, yeah, J.D. Robb, uh, her actual name is Nora Roberts. You probably know that one better than J.D. Robb. Uh, Nora Roberts wrote a ton of books. A lot of, like, romance, adult, contemporary books, as well as adult paranormal. Um, but I really, and I really do enjoy uh, Nora Roberts' books. Uh, especially her Bride Quartet series. That was just amazing. Um, but I really love her In Death series by J.D. Uh, writing as J.D. Robb. Um, it's just, this is a futuristic uh, cop thriller series. Uh, it's set and I don't remember what year at all. I, I want to say it's like 20... I want to say it's in like 21 something. I know it's set in New York City, uh, but it's set in quite a while from now. And um, it, okay, so it focuses on Eve, who is a homicide detective, and um, she has to solve all of these murders, uh, sometimes with the help of her very hot, very Irish. Uh, millionaire, no, billionaire uh, husband. 
I really love him so much. I love Rorik. Um, so, yeah. I really love these characters. I love all, all the side characters, including the main characters. I just love them all. This series is just so amazing. Um, just think of like all the cop drama or the crime drama shows you watch and better in this. Uh, again, it's set in the future. Homicide, murders, um, hot men. I mean, what, could, what more can you ask for? So, yeah. Alright, so this is a little bit better than 20 minutes. I've got it down a little bit more. That's, that's okay. That's all I'm gonna be able to do, really. Um, so I have to leave. I have to run now. I have to go run an errand. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. <sighs> really need to learn how to talk. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy reading.